me to review and try out handheld sewing machines. So I didn't actually know that handheld sewing machines existed until some people told me about them. They supposedly have a lot of the functions of just like a standard straight stitch sewing machine but they're a lot smaller, compact, and a lot cheaper. So I found one on eBay, which was $16. I did also find a $2 handheld sewing machine, but I was kind of, I, I was like, that's not gonna, that can't be, that's not gonna work, right? So if this works, I think it would be really cool because it will make sewing more accessible to a lot more people. I've had a lot of you message me saying that you know, getting a sewing machine for one project or if they're not sure about sewing as a hobby, it's kind of a big investment. On the other hand, if it doesn't work, I can save you guys the time and money in buying one of these for yourself. So my handheld sewing machine arrived today. I am going to open it up on camera and give you my first impressions. Okay, apparently, I didn't know this when I was buying it, but I've ended up with the handy stitch as seen on TV. Which makes me a bit worried because those ad see as seen on TV things generally don't work. Oh cool, they even have typos on the box. Cool. I have such high hopes for this already. Well, it comes with a couple of preloaded bodden boddens? Bobbins? A needle threader? Oh good, we have instructions. And here's the machine. Da 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 da! Uh, okay, it kind of looks like a stapler. Okay, so batteries are in, and this here is the power switch. Whoa! Oh, it did something. I'm surprised it did something. Okay, so it sews sideways instead of back and forth. Oh. It seems to work, maybe? So I'm gonna try and do a simple project with this. Um, we'll see how we go. Okay, so here's the question. Why is that grease on everything? Ew. It's like big globs of grease. So on this machine, here is the needle. Um, this is like the, the plate that the fabric goes under and there's the feed dogs under there that pull the fabric through. This controls the tension. This is the bobbin, the thread. There only seems to be one place where thread goes through, I think. This is like a little wheel that raises the needle up and down manually. And this is the power switch. So you hold it from here and... Oh, whoa. Let's just figure out which way you go first. Okay, so is this way. Okay, okay. Um, the stitches came straight out, so that's cool. Not sure how we make that not happen. Oh my god, what? Okay, I think I've got it mostly figured out. So I'm gonna try and make a bow out of this. Wish me luck. I wonder if this sews around corners. That would be a good thing. If it doesn't sew around corners, I give up on this. I'm so scared. All right, we got this. You can do it. Wait, I'm supposed to pull the thread to the front. Okay. Take two. Keeping some stitches. Come on, turn please. So I'm trying to turn the fabric and it's really getting bunched up and caught inside the machine. It's not looking so good for you. Yep. And, oh! Why am I so scared of this? Stop! Okay, I managed to turn it kind of. I should probably be using pins to hold the fabric together. This is my bad. Ooh. Oh, the fabric's bunching up. Okay, now I'm gonna try and do that back stitching. Needle, up. Pull out three inches of thread. Down. Fabric out. Ooh. 
Oh no, I'm pulling the stitches out. No, 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 no. Ah, oh, where's, no. Ah, oh, all the stitches came out. Ugh. Okay, so I gave this a real honest try and I could just not get it to work. After about an hour of trying to get just one single line of stitches sewn, I gave up. The main problem that I was having was that I couldn't figure out how to secure the stitches at the end of my line of stitches. This is pretty important because that literally stops the thread from falling out right after you've sewn it in. The instructions were not much help either, they were totally confusing, and even though I followed them to a T, which involved all this complicated tying of knots with your hands, it still didn't work out. In addition, there was no apparent method to holding the stitches into the fabric at the beginning of the stitch either. Seriously, how hard would it have been to put in a backstitch function? This would save so much time and energy if the machine had a simple backstitch to secure the stitches in place. And regardless of me not being able to secure the stitches at the beginning and the end, it also skipped a significant number of stitches while I was sewing. Now, it's possible that I needed to fine tune the tension, but there weren't really any instructions as to what the best tension even looked like, and each tension that I used still ended up giving me skip stitches. And so, this was the bow that I ended up with. Here's my bow. I've been working on this for about an hour at this point. None of these stitches have held up. They've all come unraveled under a small amount of tension. The only place that the stitches have actually held was the place that I got, I hand tied the stitches in. The rest of them have completely fallen out. Cool, so my Final remarks on my first impression of using a handheld sewing machine. I hate it. <laughs> I wasted about an hour of my life trying to sew a simple couple of lines of stitches and it didn't work. Now it's possible that with enough time and effort you could get good at using this, but the amount of time that you have to invest into learning to use this is just so much more than it is for a standard beginner sewing machine. Like an hour into it and I wasn't even able to figure out how to do a secure straight line of stitches. So it's definitely not easier to use than a standard sewing machine. Definitely don't buy it if you're looking for an easy version of sewing. Fun, fast and easy. More like not fun, slow and hard. Yeah, take that Mary Beth, take that. So yeah, those are my initial thoughts on the handheld sewing machine. I will give it another go um, if you guys leave some helpful suggestions maybe. Because I think I'm doing something wrong. Let me know if you've ever used a handheld sewing machine before and what brand you used and if it worked for you. I'd really like to know whether these are worth it at all, but from my first impressions, it is not. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. Oh, did you see the jacket I was wearing in my intro? Oh, you didn't. Did you see those patches and you were just like, I'm so envious of Annika's cool patches? Well, guess what? You can buy them at my merchandise store. The patches were designed by me and then made by a RUP certified factory in China, which means they were produced ethically because that is super important to me. There's even make her buy one. And all proceeds will go towards helping out my channel. So you can get yourself something cute that shows off your love of sewing or make her buy and support my channel at the same time. All right, I'm going now. Thank you for watching. Bye.